In this video, I'm gonna be explaining what leads are inside of Salesforce CRM. I'll go into detail on what they are, why you'd want to use them, how they work, and also how to use the leads pipeline to convert your leads into accounts, contacts, and opportunities. So by the end of this video, you will be very, very familiar with what leads are and why you'd want to use them as well. Welcome CRM crew, my name is Nick. Just before we get into the video, if you need any further assistance with Salesforce training, please check out our website below. We provide bespoke CRM training services for businesses around the world. So without further ado, let's get straight into the video. So once we log into Salesforce, we're going to come to the home screen. Now let's head over to our leads area as that's what we're discussing in this video. If you see nothing, you may just wanna change your view to the all open leads view and you can press the pin button if you'd like and this will keep that view the same every time you come back to it. So firstly, let me explain what leads are. So essentially they are the first place any potential sale is gonna hit your CRM system. So you create a lead, uh, and let's use an example, we'll use this example throughout this video, is you meet someone at a trade show um, and you're having a conversation with them and they ask just a couple of questions. They show the, a very, very small interest in what your business does and the products you offer. They're definitely not a sale and it's definitely not worth creating an opportunity for, but at the same time it's absolutely worth logging the fact that you've had the conversation you want to log the fact that they are a person and you want to uh, identify the person and the business and collect some information about them. This is where you would create a lead. So they're definitely not sale. We've not got to that point yet, but there's a small chance that this person that you met at the trade show could become a sale and it's absolutely worth tracking. So in that instance, we create a leads or we create a lead in the leads area. Now, I like to describe leads as a dumping ground, and this I use this uh, analogy for absolutely every CRM system. I think it's a really good and very useful tool, but I describe it as a dumping ground because we do, and we do want to, we wanna just be chucking data in there. Obviously not anything, but if we, any anything that appears to be even slightly valuable is worth putting in the leads area. So that's why I call it a dumping ground. We chuck it in there and then it kind of filters out anything bad versus anything good. And as it's just a lead that we're creating, once we're happy with the lead and it qualifies, we then go ahead and create a contact and account and an opportunity. But the leads area prevents us from having to do this and as a result prevents the data inside of our Salesforce system or any CRM system from becoming polluted. Okay, so we use the leads area to track information that could potentially become a, a sale. It's just speculation, we're not too sure yet. So in the example of the person that we had or that we met at our trade show, firstly, let's go ahead and we'll create a new lead. So if you press the new button, like you can see, we've come over to our leads area like we did at the start of the video. And then the first thing you wanna do is select your lead status. Now you may be on a custom Salesforce system um, and the lead status may vary for your business, but you're gonna have a set or a default value. Most of the time you just wanna start on this unless you're jumping ahead, okay? And then from there, we just wanna enter in some basic information. So I'm gonna enter in my information just as an example for this video. So let me go ahead and do that. So as you can see, I've now filled out all of the relevant information that I have about this particular lead. So obviously it's myself, like I said, but let's pretend it was the person that you met at the trade show. We then went ahead and filled out their information. So as you can see, uh, salutation, first name, last name, uh, website, uh, company, who they work for, uh, their title, email address, the, the industry they work in, you've got phone number, you can add additional information, as you can see, number of employees, mobile, you can give them a rating of hot, warm or cold. So let's say that they did show quite a lot of interest, maybe you rate them as hot, or maybe they're really, you were really scraping the barrel here, maybe you just put it as cold, it's up to you. We've got lead source, so where did this lead come from? So let's put trade show, as that fits with our example today. And then down the bottom, you can put address if you'd like to as well. So this is our lead. Obviously, like I said, we want to track it. We've filled in the information or everything we know. And there may be instances where you don't have all the information. And in my opinion, that is absolutely fine for leads. We don't want to be creating contacts, accounts and opportunities if we don't have enough information. But from the leads area, because it's a ve the very, very beginning, I think that's absolutely fine. Once you're happy, just press the save button and this is going to create our new lead. So as you can see, lead Mr. Nick Boardman. 
was created. We have our, our leads pipeline up the top here and I'll walk you through that in a moment. We've got basic information, key fields, um, the company, the website, the industry, things like that. We can log calls or any information as well as tasks, events and emails as well. If you've got your emails connected, that is. So as you can see, you just create a new event, a new task or log a phone call. We've got chatter and this is kind of like having a conversation about a, uh, a record inside of Salesforce. So I could post something on here and then a, another user of the system could then see that post that I made. I could also tag people in this post as well. And then we've got details, which is just additional information that we filled out. And then finally, we've got news. So if you're a big company, you might get news information and you can connect with Twitter as well. So we've got really useful stuff on here. This is just the leads area. And I'm sure if you're familiar with Salesforce at all, you will have seen all of this. But this is our pipeline, okay? And we want to obviously work our lead through our pipeline to the converted stage. And that is essentially qualifying our lead. We've realized that this was a good idea, creating a lead, and now we've tracked them to the point where they are of enough value where we can create a contact account and an opportunity, okay? Now, like I said at the start of this video, these stages may differ for you and your business, and each stage may mean something entirely different. The likelihood is, they're gonna mean something very different from business A to business B. So take this as quite a general explanation. You move from stage one, I don't know what this could be. This could be just having a, a conversation or an email conversation. Maybe stage two was just a very, very brief meeting or you caught them on the phone um, and they showed a little bit of interest. Then three, you're kind of sending them over some more details about what you offer. And then for the converted stage, they may say, okay, this seems of interest, Could how could we move forward? And then from there, that is when we update our status of the stages. So you just move from status one to status two, and all you need to do is mark as current status. You can come back and then three, four, five days later, however long you can then update the status from working to nurturing, um, and what, or whatever your status may be for your business. Um, and then finally, the converted stage. This is the stage we obviously want to reach. We are essentially taking our lead out of the dumping ground and we are not polluting, but we are adding this information or this data to the rest of our system. So if we press the converted button and then or the converted stage and then just press select converted status, this will then pop up this pop up window here. And this is where we can go ahead and either create new or add to existing uh, records. So CRM crew does not exist in Salesforce, so we're creating a new account. The contact, Mr. Nick Boardman, does not exist in Salesforce or this system, so we're creating a new contact. And obviously, we're going to be creating a new opportunity as well. Now, if any of these do exist in the system, Salesforce is going to try its best to match these accounts. As you can see, account matches detected is zero, but if they do exist, it will match it for you. So you may be wondering, how is this all divided up? So the website will be added to account. The industry will probably be added to account. And then obviously, the email and the phone number and um, the, the first name, last name will be added to contacts. And then opportunities will kind of have less information but um, obviously the contacts and count, uh, the contact and the count information draw into the opportunities area. So once we're happy, once we've qualified our lead, we then press the convert button. This creates our new opportunity, our new contact and our new account. And as you can see, they have now been added to our Salesforce system. So if I now head over to maybe our account uh, contacts, for example, you can see that this contact has now just been added from our leads area. So hopefully this video has given you a good insight into how to use your leads and why you'd want to use them as well, why they are such a useful tool inside of your Salesforce system. I will see you in a moment's time. Hopefully you are now all set to use your leads inside of your Salesforce system. You're confident you know what they are and how to transfer them or convert them into accounts, contacts and opportunities as well to then manage the sale further from the opportunities area. Thank you ever so much for watching. Hopefully this video has been of use. If it has, please give it a like, uh, possibly even subscribe. If you have any further questions at all, please just either drop a comment below or you're more than welcome to email me as my details are in the description below and I'll do my best to answer any questions you do have. Thank you for watching and goodbye.